One technique that sports psychs use all the time is the concept of visualization. And the way I use visualization may be different than others, but I definitely think it's a powerful tool. Um, for me, I try to do it actually in smaller segments. Some, you know, some people will recommend that you visualize an entire game and so that you've played the entire game through your head. And I know I've heard of athletes that have done it. Um, for me, that's too overwhelming. Uh, it takes a tremendous amount of time. That's a lot. And I don't know necessarily how an athlete is going to be able to do the entire game. The way I use visualization is a couple ways. One is, is that I, ask, I teach coaches how to use visualization for their players. And basically that is, is just painting really vivid, very clear pictures of what they want their athletes to look like, what they want them to perform, so that they have a very clear picture. Instead of pointing out what we don't want, we're going to point out what we do want, and we're going to make it very clear, and we're going to paint that picture. And so that's one way of kind of have a broad spectrum of having a coach be able to help their athletes do it. What I do internally with them or directly with them is that I do the same thing, but what I talk about is their best self. And we create a very clear picture of what do they look like, what do they sound like, what are some of the habits and behaviors that they know that when they're at their best, this is how they perform and this is how they look. And I sometimes say to them, if I was to watch two videos of you, no sound, no comments, nothing, how would I know which one is you at best self and which one is you, you know, necess just being maybe average or not even. And so how would I be able to pit detect that? What would I see? So that they're almost painting a picture. They're almost creating a video in the way that they describe it. And if they can do that, and then we use it prior to every game, every practice, so that it becomes a habit form, that they can lock into that pretty quickly. And that's how we use visualization.